Flipper House. And once again, I'm back at it, uh, answering all of your real estate questions, concerns, right here, live on video. I just don't know too many people who are actually going to take the time out of their day to answer your questions to make sure that you're successful doing what you need to do to start closing deals more on a consistent basis. Uh, I'm going to answer a question, of course, that was uh, sent to me in my email inbox. Uh, just to catch everybody up on speed a little bit about me, uh, I've been wholesaling real estate uh, now for the past 29 months, uh, currently investing in two markets, uh, which is Tampa Bay, Florida, and Atlanta, Georgia. And uh, up until this time, I've closed 80 plus real estate transactions in my very, very short career. Uh, also recently, I just uh, founded or started ARIA. I am the founder of the West Tampa, Tampa Bay RIA right here in Tampa Bay, Florida. Also have a book out right now too, guys, that has tons of downloads on it. Uh, the name of it, is, name of it is Mr. Flipper House Presents Wholesale and as simple as your ABCs. So go over to MrFlipperHouse.com as soon as this video is done so you can get your free ebook. Uh, the question at hand right now is just reading directly from uh, my email is hello TJ I'm new to the wholesale real estate business I did my driving for dollars and I just yesterday sent out the yellow letters to the owners my question is how would it work if owners are from out of state also is there a difference in assigning the contract and doing a double close if so how do I know when to use each one uh, we got quite a few questions going on in here and uh, I want to give shouts out to my man Ulysses Gonzalez uh, for sending in your topic and concerns, allowing me to assist you in your real estate needs. Uh, to answer the first question, which is how would it work if owners are from out of state? Uh, it would work the same way if they were in state. Uh, you simply draw up a purchase and sales contract with the seller of that property. If you guys were to come to an agreement, of course, you would be the buyer on the contract. The owner would be the seller. And uh, you would just simply draw that up as an agreement. It does not matter if they live in the same state or not. Okay? Uh, is there a difference in assigning the contract and doing a double close? Yeah, there is a big difference when assigning the contract and doing a double close. When you assign the contract, uh, you are not closing on the deal yourself. Uh, you are simply assigning your rights and interests over to your end buyer who are going to assume all the terms that you agreed upon with the seller in the original sale and purchase contract. So that is just one simple closing between your seller uh, and the end buyer. Of course, you will be on the HUD uh, one settlement statement getting paid an assignment fee, how much ever that fee was that you agreed uh, your seller would pay you for that particular deal. Okay. Uh, a double closing is when you have two transactions that close simultaneously back to back literally from each other. So uh, let's just say you have a property under contract for $30,000 with the seller. Uh, that would be your A to B contract. Uh, the A to B contract would be your seller, uh, uh, the owner as the seller, and you as the buyer. Uh, then you would have another contract, the same exact contract that you used uh, with the seller. You would have another contract, the same one that you would use with your end buyer. Okay, and that would be your B to C deal. Okay, and that deal will close simultaneously right after your A to B deal has closed. Uh, so there are two differences uh, in assigning contracts and doing double closings. Uh, also, when doing double closings, you will have to pay your own closing costs, okay, unless you can get the buyer to uh, agree to pay all closing costs in the deal, but you will have to pay, uh, you know, some closing costs when you're actually double closing on the property. In an assignment, uh, you simply don't have to pay any closing costs or fees, so if uh, you bought a property for 30000 you assigned it for 35000 uh, you'll walk away from the closing table with a $5,000 check. Uh, in a double closing, if you uh, contracted a property for $30,000 and you're selling it for $35,000, depending on which title company or closing attorney you use, you may pay anywhere from uh, you know, $800 to $1,300 to close on the property. So keep that in mind, guys. Um, hopefully this, quest, uh, this, this uh, answer 
Hopefully this answered your question. I'm sorry about that, Ulysses. And anybody else out there who may be interested in knowing how double closings or assigning contracts work, uh, hopefully this uh, answered your question. I appreciate you for reaching out to me, my man. Uh, be, do me one favor. Do yourselves a big favor. Uh, click on the button above me. Subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can be informed on all the latest and greatest content that I'm giving out here. You do not want to miss out on that. Once again, make sure that you visit my blog, which is uh, MrFlipperHouse.com. That's MrFlipperHouse.com. And feel free to leave all your questions, emails, or concerns, uh, topics that you would want me to cover right here live on video. You can leave all those concerns and questions at info at MrFlipperHouse.com. Once again, that's info at MrFlipperHouse.com. I appreciate your time of you joining in with me, viewing this today. Hey, do yourselves and me a big favor. Get out there and flip some houses.